Hi there. Today I'd like to share with you an interesting fact about palindrome numbers. And that fact is that all palindrome numbers with an even number of digits are always divisible evenly by 11. And that means that when you divide by 11, it's uh, the answer is always a whole number, and there's no um, there's no uh, and there's no remainder um, when you divide by 11. So to be a, a palindrome word or a palindrome number, it just means that when you read them from left to right, they also read the same as from right to left. So we think about words like Eve, level or noon and even phrases like madam i'm adam they both uh, if you look if you start with eve e v e if you read left to right and then if you read right to left it's e v e as well so they read the same left to right or right to left and the same with level the same with noon and the same with that phrase madam i'm adam now palindrome numbers of course are the same thing where you read them from left to right or right to left and they read the same way such as 22 949 or 5335 so 5335 is reading it left to right and then when you read it read it right to left it's still 5335 and so this um, interesting fact is that um, if you divide a an a palindrome number with an even number of digits, it's always divisible by 11. So if you were to take 5335 and punch that into the calculator, divide by 11, then you end up with an even number of 485. So 485 times 11 equals 5335. Now another interesting thing that I discovered about palindrome numbers is that you actually can break them down into uh, a number of uh, smaller numbers and those smaller numbers are, um, uh, you know, you can look at and you can uh, see instantly that they are divisible evenly by 11. So to show you what I mean, say we'll take this uh, number of 5335 that I was uh, looking at before and if you think about that so 5335 is the same as 5005 plus 330 so you've got the 33 three and 0 so you've got the 330 zero plus 5005 five. and that uh, 5005 plus 330 equals 5,335. And if you look at 330, you know instantly that 30 times 11 is 330, or 330 divided by 11 equals 30. So you know that 330 is divisible evenly by 11, just by looking at it. And then if we get the 5,005 then, then that breaks down into 1,001 multiplied by 5 and then we add on the 330 as well and that's obviously still all equaling 5335 and then if we take the uh, the thousand and one then and we break that down into two smaller numbers then those smaller numbers can be 990 plus 11 and that's also got to be multiplied by 5 so if you think about it 990 divided by 11 is 90 11 divided by 11 is 11 so as soon as you look at those numbers you know instantly that they are divisible evenly by 11 so let's do that then we'll divide um, divide both sides by 11 divide that by 11 and we know that 990 divided by 11 is 90. We could do all these sums in our head too. Uh, and 11 divided by 11 is 1. And we've still got to multiply that by 5. And then 330 divided by 11 is 30. Yep. Um, so 590s are 450. 5 1s are 5. 
and then we add on 30. And if we add that up in our head, 450 plus 5 is 455, plus 30 is 485. And to prove that that's correct then, even though I've just done that uh, calculation a few minutes earlier, 5335, yep, divide by 11 equals 485. Yep, 485. Oh. Okay, so there we go. That's a, a couple of interesting facts about uh, palindrome numbers. That the fact that if it's got an even number of digits, it's always divisible evenly by 11. And also you can take that, uh, that palindrome number with an even number of digits and you can break it down into its uh, a few uh, component parts and all those component parts um, are obviously evenly divided by 11. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.